All right, so here is the box for the Samsung Gear Live, looking like the rest of the modern generation Samsung boxes, with sort of that fake wood finish uh, sitting over cardboard, so Samsung Gear all over it. Uh, some specs on the back, letting you know it's super AMOLED, the rest of that stuff. Um, but I will run through all the specs with you, so let me take my unboxing scissors, let me cut this seal, and let's dig in and see what the Samsung Gear Live is all about. So I saw this unveiled uh, at Google I.O. about two weeks ago, uh, and I came away pretty impressed. So there it is, sitting in plastic right on top. Uh, almost identical boxing to what we saw with uh, the Gear 2. What else are we going to have inside? We've got, it looks to be just a painfully annoying uh, little charging guy. This is what we saw, uh, very similar again with the Gear 2. A little piece of plastic to watch just sits in it, and you plug in a micro USB right there, and it kind of doesn't really sit firmly uh, on the table. So that is familiar. Uh, we've got also a wall wart connected to a uh, micro USB, but if you have an iMicro, another micro USB cord, you'll be good to go. And presumably in this modern day, you have one. It has to be paired with an Android device 4.3 or higher, so that device probably has a micro USB cord laying around. So here are the specs on the Samsung Gear Live. It's got a 1.63 Super AMOLED display that's 320 by 320, being powered by Android Wear. It's got a 1.2 GHz processor under the hood. All the rest of the Google services you'd expect, Google Now, Voice, Maps, Navigation Clouds, and Hangouts. Uh, this one does have a heart rate monitor. I can go ahead and show you that. Uh, built in, but it's gonna only work when you have the app open and supposed to only work when you're resting. So we'll see how effective that actually uh, is going to be. Uh, IP67 dust and water resistance, which is nice, so you're not gonna worry about getting it sort of damaged. Uh, it does have changeable straps, it's a standard uh, millimeter size, so if you don't like the strap on here, you can go ahead and customize that any way you choose. Uh, available in black and wine red, it's got Bluetooth 4.0, accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, and the heart rate monitor, 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, four gigs of internal storage. Uh, and powering it is a 300 milliamp hour battery, which is 100 milliamp hours less than we see with the LG G Watch. Whether or not that's gonna matter uh, has yet to be seen again. Available from Google Play Store uh, and Samsung and other retail outlets for $199. Uh, this guy, though, has a button, which should make powering it on uh, markedly easier. So let me go ahead and get this guy all set up and paired to my Nexus 5, and uh, we'll take a quick look at the UI. All right, so we got this guy all paired up and ready to go, and I am already thankful that it's got a button on the side. So here is the gear live, and what it looks like, it looks just like a regular watch. It's already for me to talk, but I'm not ready to talk to it quite yet. Uh, so hit that home button, looks like a regular analog watch. If you tap it though, you get sort of those gears that show up. If you wanna see the rest of Samsung's watch faces, if you long press, you can see you've got dark analog, pick up your photos in there. Uh, sort of the rest are the, what I think looks sort of typical smartwatch style. Uh, but they have some neat ones in here. Every manufacturer sort of has their own. Um, you can sort of just walk through and find one that works. And of course, you can download way more. But the dark analog, I think, at least for me, is my favorite. So, all right, it tells time. What else does it do? Uh, it does a lot of other stuff. So, for example, if I double tap, you can go ahead and see what you can do. Take a note to drink water, remind me to do stuff. You can show my steps, show my heart rate monitor, send a text. Email you free on Friday, agenda for today, navigation. You can set the timer if you want, set stopwatch and the rest of that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and uh, see other stuff there. You've got Google Keep and the apps that you've got um, installed. Go ahead and go home. All right, let's go ahead and try one of the settings. Double tap. Okay, Google. Set timer for 30 minutes, please. Now, I don't want that to go off, but it would if I wanted to. And essentially, it's just Google Now right on your phone. So if you get emails, if you get texts, for example, uh, they'll show up right here, and you can sort of swipe through the cards uh, to see how they work. Uh, so I should get a text here in just a second as an example, and I'll show you what that's gonna look like. So there it is from Ron Perita. So you've got different actions here. I can swipe it to the right to get rid of it, or you get actions if you swipe to the left. So I can reply, I keep swiping. I can mark it as red, I can call Ron. If I go ahead and go to reply, we'll go ahead and do that. It'll open up the app on my phone, and then I can reply directly uh, to Ron from the device. Um, so you can, at least as of now, type stuff uh, out on here for responses. Supposedly, though, you can use voice to send uh, quick responses, but really we haven't seen anything yet. Uh, there are a ton of apps that are available. When I say ton, I mean like 25. Uh, but more will supposedly be coming very soon. You've got sort of big ones here like Lyft, so you can call a car, and sort of the Google stalwarts uh, like Maps and uh, Hangouts and, uh, of course, Android Wear and some other airline stuff um, are there. Uh, Design-wise, though, it looks very similar to the other Samsung smartwatches. Let me bring in the Gear 2 here, for example. And if you sort of close your eyes real fast, it's hard to tell the difference between the two other than sort of the physical home button. You'll be able to tell they are from the same family. Of course, the Gear 2 has got the camera and the actual home button. Um, the backs, though, look pretty identical. You can see the uh, heart rate monitors built in. If I can get that for you, you can see they look almost exactly the same. There we go. Uh, they look almost identical. Uh, already a bit infuriating though is the band here on the Gear Live. I've got those two things you gotta sort of put on your wrist and with one hand to try and make them buckle to find one that works. Fortunately though, the band's are removable. You can put on whatever the heck you want. For just for a fun comparison, let's bring in 
the LG G Watch. You can see sort of these two next to each other um, side by side. You can sort of see that there's sort of a more curved approach here to the Samsung. LG took more of a slate approach. You know, different stroke, different folks. Of course, we'll do a full review of both of these devices. Uh, and of course, a full review as well of the new operating system uh, and see what it's got to do and how it works and the rest of the stuff Android Wear can possibly do for it. Anything particular you want to see, leave in the comments down below. Till next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. You'll be the first ones to know when new videos come up. We have a ton of stuff. We do unboxings, we do hands-on, reviews, cars, and everything in between that has to do with consumer electronics. We'd love to have you stick around.